in today's video we are going to be learning the basics of android studio so firstly i'm going to make a new project uh, of android studio and name it the basics so and also i'm going to be using java language instead of kotlin so firstly what are the languages which are used in android studio so in android studio the languages used are xml J java or kotlin so xml and xml is compulsory and then the other two are java and kotlin so now i'm going to go to uh, this app so we'll just wait till it's sync syncing so firstly what happens is that in an app uh, in android studio there is a manifest uh, manifest.xml in which everything is saved like the app permissions and everything so now that the app is synced so we can go so you can see the manifest here's the android manifest so here it is all the app permissions so okay so in, in this video i'm going to be showing you how to make a simple app and we'll also see how to use buttons so firstly uh, it's always preferable to use linear layout uh, i will show you all the different types of layout in an other video but right now we're going for linear layout and here orientation so if you want it vertical horizontal we'll take vertical so what we are going to do is uh, we are going to have a text view so if you remember text view is like the things which you can see like uh, let's do match parent the text view is basically like it's there so it's like giving you something like information or anything for example like text view is just like a text box it's just there it's nothing like useful or anything it's just to give you information and here wrap context and match parent match parent means match the width of the parent so the parent can be either the screen or it could also be the row or column it is in so width it is preferable match parent and height wrap context or else you can not have anything else in this uh, screen so text view then after that there is something known as an id so this is really important for buttons and te edit texts edit text is text input so it is so that like it has a names so without this name it is like not you this is the name which makes it unique from others so this id will just keep it text keep it simple and then we are going to keep the text as hello hello welcome to this app so that is the first step done text view so as you can see over here it's seen like it's very small so we can always change the size so go text size and we'll keep it as 30 dp so like if you could see there was so many options over there so there was sp dp in i n m m p t p x so for text size the most preferable is dp for uh, other things for example border width it is most preferable is sp and like just like that the rest are preferable in their own way so you can see there are some warnings but the only thing is that okay they want me to use sp for text sizes so the warning over here is that they want me to keep it like in resources there's values and there is strings over here so they want like the string which is in this strings.xml they want you to use the id for example uh, over here instead of hello world i'll just copy it 
instead of hello world they want me to write uh, at the rate string slash app name so they want me to do it like this but then you can always just write it here if you don't want that warning but it doesn't mean anything so string name will just keep hello and here we are going to write One second, yeah. Okay, so the name will just keep it as Hello World. And then uh, the basics instead. So the name is Hello World. So I guess it should be in small letters. yeah so they didn't want any space and here we can write hello world there's one thing in this which is that there shouldn't be any space between any variable in android like for example if you remember in in that thunkable which we did we, it was allowed to keep spaces between names and everything so that is why so text view also we'll keep a button over here so button uh, match parent wrap context and over here we'll keep the text as hide so this will either hide the hello world or unhide it and size I'll keep it as 25 SP and then we can also change the color of the background and text so I didn't like the background color so hmm So I didn't like the background color, so I'll keep it as white, which in uh, which is hashtag Z hashtag FFF. Then after that, go to main activity. So here, what you have to do is that first you have to declare them all these names. You have to declare all of them. So firstly, we'll do. Text view and then we'll keep the name as anything hello text view hello and it has to be small and then we'll declare the button as well button uh, hide always remember to put a semicolon after everything which you have done so then after that what you have to do is that you need to initialize these variables so we are going to do hello is equal to like we want them to have the value of what is then the activity main so we'll do hello is equal to find view by id r dot id dot what was the name And also uh, IDs text we forgot to put a but ID for the button so we'll do it now Android ID address ID hide so there are two names is text so here I'm going to do text okay so that is done and then after that we'll do hide is equal to find 
view by id r dot id dot hide so that is found as well now what we are going to do is we are going to add an on click listener to hide so that it can find out so that you know when it is clicked what is going to happen so we are going to do hide dot set on click listener new view on click listener so as you can see this full thing came by itself and here we are going to write uh, if if hide sorry not hide if hello so we are going to do hello dot get visibility is equal to equal to visible view dot visible and then open the brackets and inside that to so we are going to do set visible uh, of hello dot set visible Uh, dot set visibility as invisible and then after this bracket do sorry after this bracket do else and then open the bracket and write hello dot set visibility visible so now it is set visible and invisible so here the basic code is if hello dot get visibility is visible then set visibility to invisible and if visibility is invisible then set it to visible so now we are going to like uh, run uh, the Android virtual device so uh, you can have any device which you want so here you can go to open AVD manager and then choose any virtual device create your own virtual device choose one and then choose Nexus uh, when new Nexus 5 because this is the most preferable one then after that what you are going to do is close that then press this run button so now that uh, that Nexus phone will come out like it will pop up now so that you can see how your app will work which is really good so that you can have a visual way of how you think your app will look so you can see down there it is installing over here so we'll wait till it installs it will only take like five seconds five to ten seconds more so uh, so let me just show you what has happened okay so it has run and as the invocation has finished so now it should open its launching activity in the bottom and now okay so now if we press hide it's hidden so that is how we made this button work so every time it is clicked it's open close open close so uh, that is it for this video we'll just check uh, we'll, i'll just show you everything what we did so in the activity main we i added a text view and set its text to hello world added a button hide kept it i kept kept its id hide and text views id as text uh, we changed the background color of that as well strings we added a new one just for the sake of this video then uh, we uh, in this main activity uh, firstly what we did was we declared these two this is the most important step without that it is not possible because 
you this is the variable so you need to have to get the text into this java file by through a variable so without that variable you can't actually do much in this java file so after that we did hide dot set on click listener and in that view on click listener and all of this public void on click view v add rate override everything came by itself and all we did after that was this if else loop in which if the visibility is true uh, if the visibility is visible then set it to invisible and if it is invisible set it to visible so that is it for my video i hope you liked it please like share and subscribe to my channel please stay safe and bye